Well, hey guys, thanks for joining me. Today we're gonna to do something a little bit different. Uh, one of the things that I absolutely love doing and I absolutely love about life is wish.com. Now, if you've never been on wish.com, I highly recommend that you do that. Um, for those of you unfamiliar with wish.com, wish is, uh, it's a store and it's an app and basically you can go on there and buy some of the most ridiculous stuff you've ever seen from China and it's ridiculously cheap and sometimes you order the stuff and it shows up and it's not actually what you ordered it's something that's similar but not really what you thought you get um, and that's half the adventure of wish.com but what I've done is I went on wish.com and basically I've gone and I've bought like all these crazy Chinese fishing lures. I essentially have a sack of Chinese fishing lures and I'm going to uh, start a little segment where I take these lures and I take them out of the water and see if we can actually catch fish in them. And a little segment that I'd like to call your wish is on my list. And I even have a little theme song. Wish your wish is on my list because your wish your wish is what I miss because your wish is on my list of the best things in life I love that theme song because your wish your wish all right is first lure that we're going to try out is look at this guy look how cool this is it is a uh, it's a popper it's got like a big suction popper mouth look at that paint scheme on that um, it's a popper. Uh, we're gonna try to get some top water action going on. Uh, I believe when you go to wish.com, I think this was like a dollar. Um, the thing about wish is you gotta be careful because sometimes they'll advertise stuff for like really, really cheap, and then the, the shipping is ridiculous. Um, but I bought this, it's a red, I got a different color as well. Um, but let's tie that on and let's see if we can catch some fish with it. little fish of the day on my wish.com fishing lure guys one of the things that I do anytime I come out to a lake I make sure that if I see any debris fishing debris out on the pond I always make sure to clean it up well I guess somebody must have had a bad day fishing because the amount of bobbers that I collected today. Uh, let's just go through. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven seven bobbers um that's bad day fishing so guys clean up your junk well hey guys uh i believe the uh, the top water bite has died down so i'm gonna call it a day for using these lures um let me give you my thoughts on what i think about these things um let's go let's start with the good first um the good on it is look at that it's got like a got a good rattle to it I really like that um, what I realize is as I'm working it it actually doesn't pop very well however if you tap the rod tip it does more of a walk than it does a, a pop um, but let's go over the, the things that I really like about it it's got a good weight to it um, it's very castable I like that um, the best thing about these lures is the color scheme man look at that color that is uh that's awesome and let me uh, show you i got 
another i ordered two of them give me one sec and this is the other color that i got this crazy blue color the paint schemes on these things are absolutely awesome i love it uh, i love the the colors on these i mean i wish uh, some of the standard I wish some of like the conventional like American non-wish.com lores had cool color schemes like this because that's that's really cool. Um, that's about all I like about the lore. Um, things that I don't like about it. Uh, it doesn't pop that well. It, it doesn't even walk that well. Uh, it takes a lot of effort to get it to really do anything. And uh, have you ever had... And here's the biggest drawback. Have you ever had a lure that it doesn't matter what you do to it, it continually gets tangled up on itself like that? Pretty much every cast, just the action of the lure and the action of casting, it would get tangled up onto itself. So uh, you spend a lot of time untangling the lure and actually casting the lure and not even be able to work it in because it's all tangled up on itself um and again even when you get it untangled it doesn't actually work all that well but it was a dollar on wish.com i had a uh, fun time doing it oh i forgot to show you look at this i got my shirt i got my shirt on wish.com too i bought it um it said that it was 100% cotton in a men's shirt, and it's polyester in a women's shirt. But, <laughs> it's, again, it's wish.com. Um, I will uh, I'll leave a link to the, uh, the lure at the bottom in the event you want to try these things out. Um, I, I had fun. We were, we were only able to catch one fish on. It wasn't a monster, but I had a good time doing it. Um, and it's, it's just fun to, to mess around with some different stuff. Again, if you like what you see, look down in the description box. I'm going to put some additional information down there. And while you're there, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. The channel is updated every week with new fishing content and new fishing adventures. So, I will be seeing you next week. This is Josh, and this is Abide Fishing.